Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I decided I wanted to do some testing with the recent buffed Punisher 2099 in some Act 5 content. So first of all, uh, we've just got some Act 5 Chapter 2, I think. This is on a life transfer node. So first of all, we've got Cyclops, which is good because obviously uh, for life transfer, this is also good because we're a tech, so we've got the class advantage. Um, so yeah, this is probably one of the most optimal uses for him. Uh, we've also got the synergy with Red Skull and Captain America Infinity War, which means he starts with uh, quite a bit more battery. So I figured out that um, after watching a few gameplays, I think you actually want to go straight to trying to get uh, into your special 2 when you get 100 battery. Let it off like this and BAM! That armor break is quite effective actually, it lasts a very very long time I found out. And when they haven't got much health like this, you can spam heavies. I just get told by someone that it's probably not best to spam heavies because it uses battery up quite quickly. But I thought if they don't have much health left, obviously you can do it. But if you're running low on battery, it's not the best use. Anyway, so if you want to reach battery quicker, obviously you want to just go straight for an SB1 and then uh, combo in with your 100 uh, battery. Also, you can try and keep it up by like it will go back and forth your battery. Um, if you just use an SB1 when you're already in overdrive. Um, but anyway, I just go for the stun here, then I can go into the SB2, um, and obviously you want this last bit to crit, very, very big. See, that one didn't, but the armor break is pretty strong anyway, and you can see it, it does last a very, very long time. Then I just went for the SB1, so we can get some recharge on that, keep it up, and we're doing pretty well, you know, the, the mediums, the lights, they're about one to two K, and then the crits, are like 3k or even 7k um, some of them and the crits are, are pretty nice when you get them obviously we have the class disadvantage there and so do we in this fight unfortunately as well because it's Phoenix and she's cosmic anyway I'm just going in um, still got the life transfer node so that's cool I think the next um, path we won't have life transfer so it, it is a bit more difficult but Punisher does have a slight regen when he gets to low health However, it's not nearly as good as like an Arc Overload or even Hulkbusters. Anyway, you can see his average damage is pretty decent. Now we're going to go for this. And that crit for about 8.5k, so that is pretty insane. Um, luckily, as you can see, we got comboed into oblivion there. But we came back because we got that life transfer. Um, and his heal, as you can see, he placed the heal block on her when she went for that regen. So that's pretty cool utility he got there. Except the... Um, Heal block does remove uh, a few of your charges, so it might take a bit longer. So it gets matched up like Wolverine, where he's constantly procking it. It's going to be very hard to reach your 100 overdrive charges quickly. Anyway, we've got Yellow Jacket here, who is um, no disadvantage or advantage. So this should be a pretty equal matchup. Um, just going in here. As you can see, I don't think this is the life transfer node anymore. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what node is on this one, actually, but... It's obviously not one that's uh, showing any effects right now. Anyway, we're in overdrive already. You can see it gets very quickly there. And obviously one of the greatest things about this overdrive is the limited power. Look at his power. He is gaining absolutely nothing. So <laughs> for all or nothing, this might be actually quite good. So I thought that'd be quite fun actually to test out maybe on that Iron Patriot in Road to Labyrinth. Um, anyway, we're nearly finished him off here. Did you see? I, I forgot to say we got a 10k crit on that last hit of the sp2 pretty insane stuff right there um so yeah he he um he's definitely received a a decent tune-up as people were saying it's not a buff it's a tune-up um and i've heard that the gambit buff is actually a buff so i'm happy for that because gambit is desperately in probably more need of a buff even than um punish 2099 um and i think what they mainly done for punish 2099 is make the ramp up quicker not as quick as it could be still um but make the ramp up quicker and just increase his base damage so that he doesn't hit as such as a noodle as he was before anyway we're gonna let this sp2 off can we crit and we don't but still that armor break is gonna do work we have to work around this juggernaut though because he's got that really annoying unstoppable every special attack and since he got a slight revamp uh, you can't parry him when he's got his unstoppable because he will just place the, um, a stagger on you. Anyway, he's not gaining too much power, 
which is pretty cool because of this. And now we can just chain stun him in the corner because he's got not much health left. 7k crit on that last bit. Looking very, very nice indeed. Um, so yeah, I'd say people were saying, like, would you think this guy's worth rank 5? And I don't think so. I still think he's like a rank 3 contender as I've put him here. Um, maybe rank 4 if you really like him. Um, but unless you're going into matchups where you really just are playing against someone who has a lot of power gain and maybe you want to combat that, that utility is great. However, um, his damage isn't good enough to be just like I bring him in for quests just for damage. Um, and we did crit there for about 10k, so that is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, his damage only really starts when you get that armor break and you've got the battery there. And now we're gonna pile into this man in the corner, smash him in. Not got much charges left. He might run out, but bam, got him down anyway. It's around 50 to 60 hits these fights on these 12k Act 5 opponents, so we've got about half their PI. But um, anyway, I think this is the final fight. This is Colossus. Obviously, we have the class advantage here, and because he's tech, he can actually armor break Colossus. So I think this might be one of the better matchups. Um, I think I'm playing better here as well, intercepting better anyway. Um, so we're just trying to get to that 100 battery, try and bait out SB2, there we go, and I don't know why, I feel like the battery's going up slower in this matchup, I'm not sure, um, anyway, I think when we reach, should be pretty soon, just after this one, get hit a bit, and now I think we're going to try and intercept, because otherwise we'd go to SB3, boom, 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 bam, bam, no crit, but still, that armor break, is going to do work as you can see very nice crit 6k crit there very nice stun we got there and another one and as you can see with two armor breaks very hard to do but it is a lot of damage anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video